Next, we'll do task three, load classification schema and create training samples. In this task, you will load a classification schema that has been provided with this exercise, and you will use this classification schema to start designing training sample areas within the imagery provided with this exercise. So for step one, load classification schema, we're going to use the ArcGIS Pro imagery tools, which are activated by clicking on various imagery layers. To start loading the classification schema that's provided with this lesson, click on the Dorian excerpt layer that you added to your map in task two, step one. Next, click on the imagery tab. From the Imagery tab, select Classification Tools, Training Samples Manager. The Training Samples Manager will load with a default classification schema if this is your first time using this tool. For this exercise, you will load the classification schema that was provided with this lesson. In the top half of the Training Samples Manager tool, select Classification Schema, Browse to Existing Schema, and load Dorian Imagery Analysis.ecs that was provided with this lesson. The Dorian Imagery Analysis.ecs should now be loaded into the Training Samples Manager, and you can use this schema to generate training samples. Step two, generate training samples. In this next step, you will digitize training samples from the Dorian image. The idea here is to define specific polygons that are representative of different classes that will be generated by the Support Vector Machine or SVM classification algorithm, making SVM what is known as a supervised algorithm, as the training samples created by a human will help train the algorithm on what to look for. For example, you will draw polygons around damaged buildings, blue tarps, and intact roofs, and any other classes defined in the classification schema that you just loaded into the Training Sample Manager tool. The SVM algorithm will then use these samples to classify the entire image. The following steps outline how to digitize an area of damaged trees as a sample class, but the steps are the same for all the classes that are defined in the classification schema that you loaded in the previous step. To create a damaged tree sample class, under the classification schema, click Environmental Damage and expand out from beneath Damaged Trees. Click the Polygon tool. Trace a polygon around this area. After creating the polygon, it will be displayed under the sample classes that are below the classification schema. Repeat this general process for the other classification schema classes and remember to select the class you want to digitize first before selecting a tracing tool. This image is a loose guideline for what you are looking for.
Given the relatively small size of the image, you can generate one to two samples for each class. The shapefile Dorian Samples.shp provided with the exercise datasets are training classes that can be used as a comparison with the classes you create. Note that it is important that when you have completed creation of your training samples, save the training samples as a feature class with the name ABCO Samples. And just to show you what those training classes look like that are provided with the data sets that you can download, I'll load them in. You can find them under data sets, training files. And when you click on the classes, you'll see them highlighted in the map. And remember to always save your work as you move along. And as per the lab instructions, I'm also going to then save these training samples with a different name. Called ABCO, sam ABCO underscore samples. The following are references used for this lecture. Hi, this is Brian Tomaszewski. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share this video. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and clicking the notification icon to stay up to date on new videos from this channel. Thanks for watching.